So with that, I'm going to give you Dorrance Cortez. Yes, thank you. Okay, good afternoon. Um, this is a good phrase, uh, short, but it's a good phrase. I like that. Oh, my name, Dorance Martinez. Uh, I want to tell you about and my experience in Nagios uh, implementation and the most important pharmaceutical company in Colombia. Uh, this agenda, uh, the, uh, the first topic is about need, the second about good practice, and follow it by why Nagios and the Nick Mayor. Uh, it can be work with IT and Nagios for more the 300, 300 hosts and 2,000 services. The strategy behind Nagios monitoring to support us all the infrastructure and hardware and monitoring network and hosts and services groups, dashboard, and capacity planning, conclusion and questions. Um, Juan, I, uh, I have over 10 years experience in administration of Linux Server, Windows, HPVX, IX, and some Mac servers. And for the last six years, I work in management infrastructure group on Technochemicas. And I retired for the company three months ago. I worked in Allerlogic. It's and a great security information company. And in my free time, I really like go to camping. And, and I might everyday life, I am a husband and father of two children. I think it's one of the most difficult professions, more than difficult than service management, but with the best rewards. Um, Technochemicas, where implementation was, is a leader in production and marketing products and services of areas in health, personal care, and household cleaning, processing foods, and agricultural and veterinary products um, in Colombia and Latin America. Of talk about good practice. Um, the best practice. We all note that we, we need metrics to adopt the best practice. Because if it can be measured, you can control it. If you can control it, you can manage it. If you can manage, you can improve. And in the best practice, you need to know what happened in your system. How do your users feel in a system when there is a small flaw? For example, in a traffic jam, when the system gets slowed or you get anxious, uh, you want to arrive at your destination fast, but you know this little use will take a, just a moment or a very long time. Maybe you will feel better if you had more information. And what happened in the system with a simple damaged traffic light and with a big problem affecting the entire system? And how do you user feel? Oh, the users get hungry. And what do you feel when you are the last person to know? Very bad, really. I'm very pained. And remember that if you can be measured, you can control it. If you can control it, you can manage it. If you can manage it, you can improve. The monitoring tool is, for, is there for that. For you know what is happening in your system. Critical points, faults, routes that allow to solve the problem. Everything at first glance. Because like CISAS meant, if you don't have a real strategy for monitoring, it's a unique matter. What do you want in a monitoring tool? I don't know, but I feel in 
or I want uh, end users view in real time. It melts the alerts on filers and detail to quickly identify road case and improve response times and resolution information. Ability to detect problems before they impact data infrastructure. Oh, yes. Ability to operate in complex environments and infrastructures. Visibility networks and infrastructure not controlled. Reports and the boss lobs the ROI. To archive this, we seek all less three tools in monitoring. Hewlett Packard, System Center Operation Manager for Microsoft, and Nagis. He's a leader of monitoring tools, but the first, Hewlett Packard, uh, for a good comparison as well or aside from a technical comparison, we need a price. But Hewlett Packard don't permit or don't allow to share this information. Uh, access to Hewlett Packard pricing information is limited. I can share with, with you this information, but the internet is open. I found a document with a price about Hewlett Packard. This information is almost near to real prices. And the small solution from Hewlett Packard is, um, is near for $11,000. It's very expensive. And another tool, System Center from Microsoft, um, is, near, is high price. And you need paid for any client if you have clients in your system. But we make comparison only as a monitoring tool. Maybe price, prices may change in every negotiation, but okay. And how take the decision? First, we made a scope, a specific scope, to take information about CPU, memory, disk space, disk IO, network interface, and connection to TCP and UDP ports. All this to all servers in the company with a 4% with a four percent in HPUX, um, 2% for Mac servers, 54% um, for server Microsoft, and 41 servers in Linux. Of course, every tool, Hewlett Packard, can take only on 97 uh, yes, 97 percent all op operative system in HPX. Here, 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 yes, and 85 percent for another operative system. A Microsoft? Oh, yes. With Microsoft, you can get 100 percent the all the all, the all information about operative system, but another tools, no, you can. And Nagios, oh yes, Nagios is a good tool. With the simple installation, you can get an 85% the monitoring information about HPUX and 100% for Microsoft and Linux. We need to invest in staff by 15% to, yes, to cover 100% on infrastructure monitoring. And with Nagios, 1% product to cover 100% on infrastructure monitoring. In the end, to cover 100% to checks, we need an investment of $105,000 with Hewlett Packard products. And Microsoft, okay, Microsoft. And Nagios, with $23, you can cover all 
100% in monitoring information. So it's a clear decision. It's clear, each company is different, each negotiator, each environment on each proposal. So it's important to know the scope and to do the work in order to understand what metrics do you want. Having taken the decision, the following was the implementation on the checks. I worked in the area of IT infrastructure in management of production and development servers. With just a few shared responsibilities, uh, application administration, database administration, script development, user support, level three. We need to um, get support to level three, training, new projects, contact with supers, software updates, antivirus updates, network speed, backups, and easily a. And of course, solving daily problems. For example, um, slowness problems, file loading database, technical persons will light training, urgent projects, file loading in internet, virus in the system, recovery of backups, incidents, everything. All this with the records for only for four engineers in support. And what did we administrate? Hewlett Packard servers, IBM servers, and Dell servers. Over this server, some with HPUA operative system, others with SAND, virtualization, and Microsoft and Oracle VM, supporting virtual Linux and Microsoft machines support different types of software, Oracle database, MySQL, Apache software, Active Directory, THCP, DNS, application in, ha in Java, .NET, and more than 100 different applications. Some these application or some kind of application are um, inside application and a variety of applications. All this in a complex, storage and network infrastructure. And not just, not just know the, stat, the status of each device, CPU, memory, disk space, disk IO, network in all operative system, Macintosh, HPUX, Linux, Microsoft. You can take control with almost all infrastructure. And the same with the software, antivirus services and process. Users connect to the server, Microsoft updates. You can take almost all control in the system. To see more clearly what's going on, what was wrong, what was right, and what percentage? We was possible get information for all layers, networks, storage, hardware, operative systems, and software. All this is too much information. We made a strategy. The strategy is simple. The super sent us minimal requirements and what to check in case of failure. What could be measured was added to Nagios. For example, one application had requirements, memory, CPU, processes, and performance. If you know the application, the hardware, you know that this application maybe don't will really run fine if you had more than a number process and more than a 
percentage of memory of CPU. We made an, a checks, um, we made many checks to try to prevent downtimes and to help out what happened in the system. In this app, we made some checks with alert of CPU use, memory use, and count of processes running with warnings and critical status. We know what that song runs, or we know that song runs what's happening. The next tip was make checks. The checks will relationship between applications, storage, networks, physical and virtual servers. Checks with information about storage behavior where the application are running, information about network connections and performance, and checks with information about, oh, and everything that is related to the application and print servers and routers, uh, physical servers. So the last step, documentation. Documenting what to do if we sit an alert. What to do in warnings. What to do in criticals. In normal states, check the statistics to prevent future situations. With this, we made host groups. At first glance, we know the risks and we solve attack fears. So we applied interdict for stage management method. And with a book apart, we call make corrections as we went. The same goals for all software. We try to keep all software metrics on nudges. And we made send with all programs and services inside of the company. It's the same with groups of services. At first glance, we know the risks and we solved attack first. Creating host groups allowed us a monitor remote. No way. Okay. Yes. Creating host groups allowed as a monitor remote infrastructure. When we receive called for a first, first level, at first glance, we know it was a local or a global problem. In the monitoring tool, is an uh, excellent you know, decision. That is not use. It always uh, to lower cost and with a clear strategy, support all infrastructure with a smile for air to air. And performance, excellent. We have an uh, Nagios running in a virtual machine with a four GB of RAM and dual core and Linux SUSE operative system. In this, uh, we can, we make uh, this server checks almost 300 services in less than one minute and 2,000 services checks in less than one hour. And servers host checks Twenty you know, almost thirteen servers and checks in less than a minute, and almost two hundred services checks in less one hour. It's in a great performance with Nagios. This is in a, this is in a graphic about Nagios Ford. And so, what do you do or what to do with all information generated by Nagios? predictions and estimations. We forecast the trend of a server. According to our estimation, the servers we will out of services 18% of the time for 
two consecutive months. This is not satisfactory, Celia. If this continues, the next year, one call will be present with a 25% change that two months, Celia, will be broken. Unnecessary adjustments are made during that is reduced at 19% the average cyber failure. So you can show the manager the necessary information to take actions and reduce the down times. Maybe you can show the information to invest a new infrastructure. You take data, you can get information about the behavior of your, your infrastructure. And to estimate the future behavior of the components to make decisions. Because in some times, you like to see the future and get some predictions. Monitoring tools must estimate future values and future behaviors and to take previous decisions. So we made solutions to almost 99% of all servers and 89% for all servers. It's good because you can take control about your infrastructure. No, it's not on a server alone and what happened with the server and you know, connect to the server and see what happened in there. You, in, only screen, you can see what happened in your system. And Magius fulfilled all needs and users view in real time, immediately alerts on filers and detail to quickly identify root case, um, ability to detect problems before the impact infrastructure ability to operate in complex environments. On the company, we had a uh, size outside of the country in Salvador, in um, Peru, Guatemala, Ecuador. Um, you can friendly performance during reports, file your statistics on SLA compliance. And the best, right. There is no tool of universal solution. Each company is different. Every problem is different. Mm, each architecture, which is yours, and how to manage. Monitoring tools should point to the prevention and prediction. Monitoring tools are not used at 100% maybe for lack of knowledge or the tool, and maybe failures in method of analysis. The company must have a monitoring strategy. You need good tools, trying it personal, and one strategy. We found all this monitoring strategy, good thing works, and great tools. Questions? Ova and, and the Microsoft. Yes. Uh, you put uh, a, per, a percent of the coverage of, this, the, operat of the operating systems. This yes. information, where do you obtain this? Oh, OK. Uh, we made an, uh, an environment test and take that information about the scripts of 
uh, for example. Let me check. Uh, is next, here. Next, next. Yes. Yes. That this one. Okay. Um, the scope is that CPU, memory, disk space, and disk I/O, TCP and UDP, and network interface. But the OWL software or the Hewlett Packard software take only one information about the operative system and memory, CPU, um, processors. This information we take from the document about Hewlett Packard and to take uh, from demo software. And when the first implementation with a simple implementation, you know what, what checks come with the tool. Yes? Okay. Any more questions? There's got to be another question out there. Perfect. Uh, in the part you were me mentioning, uh, SUSE, SUSE Linux, it was difficult for you to install the program to monitor with Nagios? No, no. Any Real problem? Problems. Any problem. Cool. Anybody else? We got plenty of time here. We have a little. Oh. You must have explained it perfectly. <laughs> All right, how about a nice round of applause for Dorrance Cortez? Thank you. Thank you, everybody.